Okay, uh, of course, uh, this is the newspaper stand here at K2, uh, where we'll be bringing you some of the headlines that is, of course, happening over the weekend. And I must tell you that uh, Nigerians are really, really interested in what is happening in the country. It's the year for politics. And, of course, everybody is on the edge, knowing what exactly what to do and, of course, what to vote for and the things and that is happening around the country. But first, let me take uh, the nation and what uh, is happening in the nation. I, I also want to tell you that two things over the weekend make the headline, which is, of course, the, uh, the federal government on NASU and, of course, um, INEC talking about whether to transmit results electronically or manually, of course, which, of course, they have actually debunked that they didn't say that they wanted to transmit the result manually. But first, let me take the nation. And the nation says on the front page of the nation, uh, Electronic transmission of results stays, says INEC, Independent Electoral Commission, says electronic transmission of results states, uh, no normal, no manual system next year. That is what uh, uh, INEC, uh, uh, INEC is saying, and that is, of course, on the front page of uh, the nation. And still uh, at the bylines, you see PDP uh, crisis. WK insists on IUSAC makes concessions. And still on the head, uh, you still see APC campaign, Kayamo Alake Ononuga uh, to lead the media directorate. Uh, so uh, that's one of the things that you will find on the front page of uh, the nation. From the nation, I move to the punch. Uh, still on the punch, you see 578 day strikes. Angry lecturers dump varsities as to lament. Uh, like I said, uh, like I told you, Two things made headlines over the weekend, uh, ASU and, of course, uh, the INEC issue. So uh, you can see here, as angry lecturers dumping uh, varsities, ASU laments. Uh, so, and of course, still at the bylines, you see at the bylines, Ekoi building, subscribers sue Lagos seek com uh, compensation. Uh, you remember the Ekoi building, uh, which, of course, happened sometimes last year. Uh, so it's one of the things that is also making headlines and also on the bylines you can see 418 million dollars malami has abandoned agf role says ngf uh, that's the nigeria government forum saying saying that uh, on that one uh, so i moved to vanguard and on vanguard still on vanguard you see strike considering ban on asu say uh, federal government considering ban on asu so, uh, and of course, uh, you see PDP crisis article campaign may call Wicked's Bluff announced campaign committee. Uh, so, those are some of the things that is happening uh, in the headline. But I have some of my, uh, some of the people here that, of course, will give uh, uh, insights and uh, some of the things that they have interest on. Uh, first, let me talk to you. What interests you in today's papers? Uh, good morning, Nigerians. There are so many things of interest, as a matter of fact. So many things interest me. Uh, FG, considering Baron Asu, Baron Asu is not really the issue. The, uh, the, what are they really asking for? I think solving the problem is the main issue, not really banning them, as a matter of fact. Although Asu, as, a, as, as an organization or a union, as a, as a body, thank you very much. Uh, they know what they want. And FG himself, they are not ready to, to, to succumb. And uh, I think that uh, banning them is not really the issue. But solving the problem of Nigerian University is the issue. And I think again, I still want to talk about, if time will permit me, is uh, insecurity and uh, a situation whereby Nigeria is using almost all its resources to pay debt. Now, the, do we still have the economic team? Who is working with the president? Do we still have the economic tick tank? Who is working with the president? Because we may not know what is happening. Nigerians may not know what is happening, but indeed it's a bigger problem that Nigeria is almost heading into bankruptcy. Because who is working with Buhari? Who is working with the president? Who are the economic team? Who are his advisors? We need to know all these things because it's problematic. Nigerians may not know what they are heading to. 
but if they should God should open their eyes to see, in fact, they, they, they will be crying by now because it's a really terrible situation. Buhari has to really wake up. Look for people to help him out. You can't be borrowing and spending. It's not ethical. It, 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 it's, it's not done anywhere in the world. You have to look for experts to help you out before Nigeria goes down. We must pray for these people. We just have to help them out because, in fact, me, I'm totally confused. Now, insecurity. The way they are kidnapping Reverend Sisters and uh, uh, pastors in the East is another problem. What is the commission of police doing? Who is doing this thing? They have to work on these things. A situation whereby you wake up in the morning and hear of kidnapping, unrest and everything. We just have to, that's why we have a government. They just have to wake up and do something. This kidnapping must stop. The commission of, in those days, there's this fantastic commission of police then. Before you cannot travel from uh, Lagos to Benin. That road was terrible. I'm robust. We are just operating there. What did the commission of police do? He organized some people, put them in a bus, and they were traveling. They set trap for these people. The moment they come out, they open fire on them. Since then, all these guys, they ran away from that route. A commission of police should think, what is happening? Why are they kidnapping people? Do something about it. Then you become a super cop. This is one of the things we are looking for. Thank you very much. I, I can understand. I can, you can understand uh, some of the frustrations, of course, on the minds of Nigerians. They want a better government. Everybody actually wants a better government. And they want the government to do what they are supposed to do. Of course, the priority is the security of lives and property. I'm going to talk to another person. Uh, and, of course, uh, um, tell me what interests you in today's paper. Well, uh, my commentary is taken from the, the son and also the nation and other papers. So, uh, confusion, shock over INEC manual result collection notice. So, so this, is, this is, yes. This is what so, and now, yes, electronic transmission of results stay say by INEC. So, we in Nigeria, we are confused about that two papers. You know, uh, right from day one, last year and this year, they say that they have uh, signed a letter B. Yes. So, and the agreement is electronic voting. But uh, therefore, is a, we heard in the news that uh, INEC wants to conduct election manual. And today, the electronic voting can resurface. Which one are we? are going to accept us in Nigeria. INEC should uh, stand on his feet and tell us where we are going because he's the one in charge. So we are in Nigeria, we are confused though because we don't know where we are going. Because INEC have done, uh, done a wonderful job in Anambra State election by conducting election electronically, or should state like that, and the Kitty State. Now, if for him to go back down for manual voting, yeah, it's absolutely wrong. So he should go back to that electronic vote so that Nigeria will know where they are going. And for now, we don't know where we are going. So another one, this uh, angry lecturers dump uh, universities as to lament. Well, federal governments are not serious with the ASU. You know, there have been a, a long, more than six months when ASU embark on strike and they have not uh, negotiated with them proper. Okay, as for their voice, they, they listed the uh, amount of money senior lecturers earn yearly. That's nine million. So why uh, younger lecturers are collecting nine thousand, ninety thousand naira? Okay, situation whereby we borrow man, Okada man, keke man, uh, conductors, even laborers, manual laborers are making more than hundred thousand a month, and they, they are saying that they are paying the uh, lecturers ninety thousand. Very poor. Federal government should work hard and pay them well and meet all, meet all their demands so that they call off the strike. So the most of the female students are now into abortion now. Some of the uh, boy students now into Yahoo's. So most of them are put in their hand in crime. Go to those states, those students are now involved in robbery. Go to Kogi states, it is like that. Another part of the country, Yahoo also. So federal government should call off the strike. So federal government, on that one, this vanguard, say federal government, considering ban on ISO. So it's absolutely wrong to ban ISO right. because right. it's a body.
Every trade union have their own body. You cannot federal government have any right to ban us because okay. so they are not one that create us. I, I get you. <laughs> so you can understand why all of these things are coming and Nigerians just want to be informed on all the things that is happening in the country. I'm going to speak to him. He's the last person I'm going to be speaking to. Tell me, sir, what interests you into these papers? I have just two points that interest me, really. First, electronic transitional results stays. That is no longer a debate, and it is not negotiable. Because in every country that are civilized and developed, we believe electronic transition of results should be the best option. Something that we don't even need to negotiate, even talk about at this point in time of our democracy. Because presently it shows that with electronic transmission, at least transparency will be at least 75% guaranteed. Rigging will be, let's just say, 80% outfaced. But presently, I think some areas, some individuals are still clamoring for manual collation, which is very wrong. So I believe INEC will stand on their point and stand firm because I believe they're an independent body, not to be kind of intimidated by any person or organizations in the country. Thank you. And the second one is the lecturers dumping bosses. It saddens me to see such stories because one thing is this, aside from the president, everybody in the crowd of power authority in this country today passed through university. I believe some of my friends can say does not pass through the university, but I send it that I'm, 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 as for assembly members, vice president, and professor, they all pass through the hands of a lecturer. And today, the lecturers are being punished unjustly by the government, by those they taught, by those that pass through their hands. And yet, they are not doing anything to rectify the issue, which is very sad. Right. So they should kind of find a solution and not just a lasting solution to this whole scenario. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Of course, those are some of the views uh, of uh, the people at the newspaper stands on uh, the things that have happened over the weekend into today, federal government on ASU, and of course, the INEC issue. It's back to you, uh, Mr. Sam, and of course, Kelly and Veronica. All right, thank you, Demola, for bringing us uh, views from the streets. Uh, interesting uh, conversations there. As always. Espe especially <laughs> with regards to the transmission, transmission of, of results. results. I know mm -hmm. a lot of Nigerians are interested in that uh, uh, conversation. Yeah. But then that's the much we can take on the show this morning. <laughs>